Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we are still side questing today. We are at the Snare Pet. And we're over here by the Crescent Moon Lake area thingy. And this is the side quest I was mentioning last time where uh, this guy in Sniffleheim wants to impress Crystal Linda by getting this flower. So, yeah, we have the flower now. I'm also going to go to the uh, Royal Library. What am I doing? Oh, I crafted the uh, Supreme Sage's Staff. Yeah, it's a bit better. And I crafted... I crafted the uh, Sacred Circlet for Serena. Very nice. Uh, with that new ability, that Master Strike ability that we got, that randomly happens, um, it's a lot... I'm finding it a lot easier to craft some of the stuff and get, like, a plus two or plus three on it. So that's really nice. So I'm just gonna skip all these enemies because I don't really care about them. I've already fought the uh, Ice Golems. I don't need to fight any more of them. Not at this point. And so the reason I want to do this side quest... Well, there's a couple things here I need to do, actually. One, I need to figure out how to deal with the uh, Magical Beast in the Hexwood, because that's where uh, one of the guys in Sniffleheim told us to... Uh, check out the library here for that but I also need to read those books for the quest for Rab and the reward we get for that is a boost to Rab's um, magical abilities so yeah I definitely want to do that yeah here it is ye wizards canticle and I kind of forgot where this uh, was supposed to where I was supposed to turn this in. Fortunately, the game reminds us there's a monk at Angry Law, which actually works well anyways, because I have some cutscenes to contend with back there. These are just regular dragon slimes. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting, you know, malicious dragon slimes. Well, for that, we'll just use swoosh. Okay, that, I guess that was a bad idea. Okay, not They're challenging. Right. And also not any sort of noteworthy experience. Okay, we'll just skip enemies. Uh, but now we get to travel through this particular dungeon again. Fortunately, since we've done it once, it hopefully won't be as difficult. And it hopefully won't take the whole episode. Okay, spoilers, it's not going to take the whole episode. Okay, this isn't where we go. Again, I'm also checking for books, because I don't want to be missing the books around here. Sleeping platypunks. Oh, here's the Guardian of the Hexwood. And then this book... Uh, Get Jorman. I don't know if that's a malicious Jorman, and this is the part where the book got my attention. Yeah, it's restored to life. Deal the finishing blow with a powerful lightning spell. Zap, Zapple, and Kazap. Or there's Kazapple. I think we have Kazapple on Jace's skill board. I just, it was one of those hidden panels down in his luminary section. Uh, so I'm gonna need to get that in order to finish up the business at the Hexwood there. All right, so now we have to start touching these things and start traveling through this place again. 
Again, just looking around for the books. I must say, I, I am very impressed with the amount of content and things there are to do in the post-game of this. This is probably my favorite post-game adventure of, well, I guess any RPG that I've played. So that's really cool. Yeah, I, I was not quite expecting this many things to do. Oh, he's having story time. Well, I'm not going to try to interrupt your story time. Oh, hey, there's the second wizard's canical. Ye dark one. Okay. Uh, can I just walk around you? You gonna let me? No, you're not gonna let me. Hi there. Oh, crack build body punk. I wasn't trying to run into you. And again, he wasn't trying to run into me either. He was uh, trying to turn tail and run. Because again, these are just the, you know, really basic enemies. Yeah, not worth the experience. We we need we need the experience in the thousands. All right, what is this? The worst curse. Oh, I remember. This is like the curse where he like embarrassed someone, so then he ended up being embarrassed through this curse or whatever. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's not the book we're looking for. Okay, so now we can go up those stairs. Out of my way, you platy punks. Yeah, they're not going to run towards us. They're going to run away from us. Oh, great. Oh, these are... These are malicious hunter maps. I'm not interested in these guys. I mean, I'm gonna fight it, just to show it off. The sounds Serena makes there are just really weird. It almost reminds me of like a Pokemon sound. Oh, another thing is, I, I mentioned that I have been playing uh, Dragon Quest V off-camera. And, well, I still am. Wonderful. Yeah, I know, that is wonderful, isn't it, Serena? And, uh... I ran into Hunter Max in that game. I totally forgot that was an enemy that... I thought they were a new enemy to this game, but uh, no, they appeared in Dragon Quest V. They did not get the double attacks like they did here, so there is that difference. But still, I saw them and I immediately panicked. Oh, hey. That's interesting, we already got all three parts. And so yeah, here the game tells us go back to Angrila. Like I said, we've got some other business there anyways, because there are some cutscenes to be had. Uh, but before that, I am just going to finish traveling through this place. I do want to get back into that main center room at the end. Uh, and just check and make sure that there's nothing else we need for the books here. That way, I never have to come back here again. That's that's my uh, idea. Oh, this is talking about the now what kingdom. I don't I don't need that. I think we read that the first time. And of course, this is also the. Is this treasure new? Mercury's bandana. Well, that's probably for Eric because it's bandana. And it is absolute crap. 
Okay, so it is a treasure that I missed from the first time. Yeah. Well, alrighty then. Uh, so... Yeah, this is the part where I'm going to get a little bit lost again. I don't want to fight you. I want to... I want to go to the center area and just read the books there and just make sure that there's nothing else that we ever have to do to come back here. Because if we did have to come back and go to that center room, I would rather do that now while I'm already halfway through this place than have to come back and redo this whole area again. Especially since most of the monsters aren't really worth fighting. And the ones that are worth the experience, I'm trying to run from. Yeah, hey, that actually worked. <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to get into another battle there. Uh, hi guys, I'll just sneak right by you there. Uh, but this is the part where you actually have to, if you run around here enough... Let's see, there's the path, no, no, past game play me, no, not that way. Not that way. No, we're blocked off anyways. <laughs> There's a path that connects to the mid middle part. Which, here we go. Past gameplay, he notices that. And, oh, okay, yeah, this is where I have to uh, touch the next thing. That's going to do that. And now we head down... Probably just down these stairs that were right here. And then we can get into the middle part again. But first we're going to have to deal with the hunter mech. Oh, no, I guess we don't. Oh, darn it. Oh, we got to hit this light thing. I think. Yes. Okay, so then we have to come down here. Is that right? That can't be right. Oh, we have to go back up. Okay, good. Platy Punk ran away. You... Yeah, really? So yeah, I think it's pretty assured that we're going to keep Jade over Eric. I know I I had some discussion, I had some thoughts, I had some things I wanted to try out. Well, what I wanted to try out didn't work out as I expected. And uh, yeah, we're just going to we're going to stick with Jade for that position. The part for Rab versus Veronica, that is still very much up in the air. Hey, we're in the center room. I'm going to check out the uh, ye old first age, these books, they're still kind of, um, kind of not everything that we need. In fact, these aren't really helpful at all. And that's just the one that we read the first time we came through here. Okay. Fair enough. Let's zoom. We'll go to Angry La. I'll turn in the quest at Sniffleheim sometime in the next episode. That, that'll be one of the things we do in the next episode. All right, so Angry La, there are actually some cutscenes to be had here. And okay, here's our guy. We turn in this.
Alright, yeah, yeah, get on with that. Alright, so Rab's Magical Might and Magical Mending increased by 50. Awesome. So once again, uh, just another, another factor I have to consider when deciding on if I want to keep Rob or uh, swap him out for Veronica. They're making it a tough choice. I do appreciate that. Like I said, even for the characters that we're not using, like Silvando and Hendrick, especially Hendrick, they still feel like they do... They have unique roles and unique purposes, and I, I still don't feel like any of the characters are necessarily bad. And that is one thing that I do like about this game. You can pick whichever ones are your favorites for, you know, whatever it is you want to be doing. Me, I just prefer, especially in the Dragon Quest series, I prefer the fighter class because it's high speed, uh, claws have an increased critical hit chance, and uh, they're just very fast, strong, and take out monsters quickly, and I, I like that. You're alive. Of Dundrasur, to Angry Law. I am Pan, Grand Master of the Temple. That's right, because the world tree didn't collapse, she didn't have to sacrifice herself we by putting up the barrier around Angry Law. Okay. To accept you as a disciple and cultivate your physical and spiritual strength as best we can. What's the matter? Too many long words? Fine. Allow me to explain it all in terms you'll understand. Allow me to unburden you from your head. For as long as anyone can remember, the sons of the Drusillian royal family have been sent here to be educated for six years of their youth. As the crown prince of Dundrasil, you too were supposed to have come here as a boy and trained under me. When your homeland was destroyed by monsters, the world thought you dead. But still, we held out hope. Haven't we had this conversation years, before? I think we've had this conversation come. before. Huh. It's been a long time, Master Pan. Forgive me for not visiting you sooner. My dear Robert, it has been rather a long time, hasn't it? I must admit, I had thought we would only meet again in the next world. Well, we did hmm. technically meet in the Speaking next world. It, you look like you've seen a ghost, boy. That's because you I'm used to admit, seeing you dead. I have a similar feeling. It's as if we've met before somewhere. So here we Strange. have yet another reference to uh, people uh, kind of, of remembering or feeling like so they've met us. In a different situation, as disciple. if they had some sort of remnant of the attack. alternate timeline that now Even no longer exists because we went back in time. I can feel the evil aura emanating from the dark star. It is a body of unfathomable wickedness. Well, if you're here to teach us the spirit bomb and the quadra slash and the solar flare, we've already learned well, all that. It just so happens that there's a special training regime here at the temple. That should prepare you to do just that. We call it the Wheel of Harma. I will the summon Wheel forth a constant cycle of fiendish foes that will push your powers to the very limit. Yeah, this is the uh, side thing I kind of skipped wheel. on but though the trial has last time. We, we attempted it and then we never went back to it. None have succeeded. If you're feeling brave, Speak with the High Lama. But it's kind of interesting. Because he's going to tell us that, oh, it I looks like we already have a record of you being mental. here, even though this Focus, is our first time meeting. Abstinence. Let me show you what I can do. Oh, but first we have this silly hmm. scene with Rab. Very sprightly. I'd like to see how you come along, Rab. You certainly seem a lot more focused than when we last met. Oh, I'm focused, all right. 
Come on, you young whippersnappers. What are we waiting for? I have a thing or two to show you. Really? <laughs> and clearly everybody notices that. How does that even fall uh, out so easily? I take back everything I said. Come here, Robert. We have a record to break. Uh, the naughty stick. Hey! Okay then. Well, that was something. Uh, if you talk to Pang, she doesn't really have anything else to say. Uh, but this is also why I got that Dragon's Bane sword for Hendrik, because I was intending to come back here and do this, and we're going to give him the uh, the liquid metal armor. It's a bit better than his armor. It takes off his... changes his appearance, unfortunately, but uh, what can you do? Yeah, and so the High Lama, he's like, oh, well, I guess the uh, wonders of the Luminary are pretty vast, so that's kind of an interesting way that the game still kept your records here, and uh, after this whole traveling back in time. All right, so we have the first trial, second trial. Ooh, there's some... I don't even know what that stuff is, but... Uh, Let's see, Staff of Divine Wrath. So, what we're going to do, we know this battle. Hendrik's going to go here. And then we're going to have Jace and Rab on the second battle. Alright, a deadly dragon has appeared. Yeah, that's not doing much. Um... That's not what I wanted you to do. I didn't put it in a pan. And then I realized, oh yeah, since we had Hendrik join our party in this timeline, I never actually set him to follow orders. Because this is the first time I actually have him in the party. Uh. Well, there we go. Yep, two turns. So if we can win within just a few more turns here, we can get all of the items here. The Horrors of Heliodor. Uh, don't be fooled by their appearance. They're super buffed up monsters. They have tons of HP. So we are just going to go with the Spirit Bomb technique. And Quadra Slash. Yeah, this should be much better since we're at a much higher level, and we know what we're doing. So yeah, I just thought I'd try out the Wheel of Harma, see how far we can get in all this. We should finish things. And since we finished it within the eight moves, we're actually going to get everything. And we're going to check out how good or not it is. And it's actually going to end up being... Yeah, that's terrible. Well, maybe it wouldn't have been terrible you know, like two or three staffs ago. But it's pretty bad now, and so are those sages' robes. So, oh well. And I feel like I might need to be using the other characters really soon for the other trials, so I'm going to just take a moment here and just outfit them. Make sure they have all the best stuff on. Yeah, that, that works. Liquid Metal Jacket it is for Silvando. And Veronica. Uh, she can have the rod that uh, we just stopped using for Rab. Uh, where 
one was it? Does he still have it? Ah, there it is. Uh, yeah, you need something better than that. Okay, what could we go for with you? Oh, hey, that thing we got from uh, Cinderella and Wambolina. And there's actually the matching piece, which isn't quite the best thing. I think, I think there's one other thing that I could give her, but I just want to see what she would look like with this. Boosts her invasion, evasion chance. But it drops her magical might a little bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is... I could not see Veronica wearing or tolerating being dressed like that. That just does not fit her. <laughs> oh my, we're going to go with this. <laughs> And accessory-wise, I... Yeah, I guess that'll work. I think the rather, her other... Yeah, that's fine. And Eric, let's check you out real quick. Well, that's not. We can just jump into this again. Oh yeah, because I also realize I'm running kind of short on time. I know we've only got, uh, we only have four participants here. Now the problem I have with this thing is I don't know what I'm going to be fighting against. And I don't really know how tough the monsters are going to be until you actually get into the thing. I mean, there's no penalties for losing other than, you know, the time that I'm wasting. So yeah, we'll go with, uh, we'll go with Jace first, and we'll have Serena around there, okay. The bad band, see, I figured this would be, you know, multiple enemies and I'd want Quantum Slash here, so, uh, so far, this is a good call to me. He took two of them out. That's awesome. Don't do that. Okay, it didn't work. Ah, uh, you're mesmerized by Jace. That is weird. You just drive a giant sword through your face. Ah, uh, okay, the major... Major Leagues. Um, I guess there's no penalty for using abilities, so let's use some abilities. But what should I even be taking out first? Maybe this guy. Ah, there we go. Ah, uh, that's rude. You dumb platy -thong. That'll teach you. Well, even though she doesn't have the uh, multi-attack, we are still taking them out, one on each turn. Okay, it's gonna take a couple turns for this guy. That's because I can't use Hard Claw. But otherwise, that battle went well. We've taken six actions, we just have to do this within... Was it ten moves? I can tell if that was 10 or 15. Oh my. Fee, fi, fo. Yeah, we're. And this is where I kind of wish I had Veronica instead of Serena for this battle. Because. Serena's Kaskoosh can't hit everybody. Oh hey, that actually worked out. Okay, sure. Rab? No. Rab, what are you doing? Okay, Rab comes to his senses, but I think that also wasted a turn. Oh, hey, we got the panda. 
if we can kill this otter in one shot, which I don't think is quite going to happen. Surrender your soul! No, not quite. Yeah, Veronica could have done her uh, kaboom. Which that seems to be kind of the key in these uh, Wheel of Karma battles. Just because you have such a variety of different monsters you're contending with. Did I do all right? Yes, you did. All right. In. Enchanted? Is that enchanted shields? I said, didn't we already? Couldn't we already make those? Dragon Dojo Duds. And bottled lightning. Lightning conductors. Okay. Uh, Dragon Dojo Duds. That's not. That's not what I want to be doing. All right, well, we will go for the third trial and onward. Uh, we'll see how far we get here, and we'll do that next time. Also, see if we get the uh, claws we needed for a crafting recipe.